like impenetrable, you know? So so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're stepping to game two. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn the bell to all notification bells. This is now Team Simpsons 1-2-0 as the first game. They had a dominating show. Can they keep up the streak? Or is Team First Block going to turn the table around? We shall find out in this match. Yeah, and we'll see. You know, if the the, the meatball turns into a death ball uh, like it did the previous game. So, again, pacing is going to be important for both teams here. I think Team First Blood, though, specifically because they are very they're mobile in their own right. But at the same time, like you said, they're kind of squishy. So you actually want to be the team to end things early if possibly possible here. Um, but that's actually difficult because you pointed it out, Dave, uh, Dave. the fact that Irithyll takes a lot of items, right? She takes a, yeah. quite a bit of time to ramp up and get started here. That's going to be something that they have to work around. Again, where is your damage, right? Well, that's in Kid. That's also in Ayano, right? They do have a possibility. Plus, if we can see something similar with the Phobius, you know, Luffy, then they are covered in those departments. But again, it has to be a game that ends sooner than later. Right, right, right. This is TFB trying to end the game as early as possible, even though Iris is a late game character. But hey, last game, we saw Simpson do the same thing, right? Melissa even get to the po didn't even get to the point where she can truly shine and the game was just over, right? So, I mean, this game, TFB want to do the same thing, but can they do the same thing? That's a problem because there are not so many dashes. Luffy, this game, is Luffy going to completely rely on himself or kid to find those, you know, displacement, to find those dashes in a way, because I don't see much dashes at all beside outside of one one and Grok's ball charge. Yeah, and so this is typical, right? Everybody trying to get some of that XP in the yeah. lane before the first turtle of the game comes up. Everybody pretty much has that level four available to them at this point that's gonna be focusing on this except Joy Bonge. So right now that's a quick take already for the turtle here. That is gonna be secured by Kit. Better Air Strike does come down. There's a the circle angle. Fallen is gonna be taken out. That's gonna be the first blood already for Luffy. It's a looking like the same case for this Fovius. So let's see how he plays around that early first blood. Wow. Well, I mean, that is some really good execution from TFB. We just, we're just speculating that they were going to play aggressive. And then it turned out they were actually going to play aggressive. You know, look at this, invading to the blue buff. Now, before the dinosaur can even make it back. So a very, very beautiful execution to continue to extend the snowball. And a lot of t a lot of players actually were watching, were wondering, like, how do good teams extend their snowballs? You know, outside of turtles, outside of those objective fights. Well, here it is, invading to the jungle, right? You, you see good teams frequently do that. Once they have a little bit of lead, that little bit of lead turns into a, maybe a slightly bigger than a little bit of lead, right? By invading to enemy jungle and finding another fight, knowing that they already have the lead. They have the power spike over you so they can push and really get whatever they want from your side of the resources. Yeah. And, you know, in that and that with that being said, you know, counter jungling or uh, getting into the enemy's jungle is crucial for a lot of these teams. But yeah. specifically for Kid, because he is playing a Piquito jungle. And again, you want to continue this momentum that you have. Now it is only one kill. It's only a first blood. It's only three minutes in. But already here, look at the damage he has. Fallen, taking quite a bit. Demonic force going to come out here. But it is a, a big dinosaur. But in the mid lane, Damien going to be the one to fall here. Black Shoe is going to be popped, but they're happy with that kill. Also, on the bottom side, Daytona's welcome to come in into the wall. Fallen, regening quite a bit of health. Can they grab that kill? Kid. Luffy falls here. Red Kid team, in trouble. Team. Gets taken down to Team First Blood, getting punished on the bottom side. Yeah, Team First Blood. I understand they have this urge to start the snowball fast, because but it's at this desperate times when we really have to calm down and relax and take a step back. Just now diving on the bottom tier one was uncalled for, really. I mean, we talk about how you don't have much dashes to use the demonic force, right? On Phobius. And Nonetheless, they still forced it. They still went under the tower to try to jump around, but on top side, oh, here we go. Yeah, Cold World gonna get punished, but like you mentioned, you know, uh, you gotta be careful what you're using that demonic force on, but they are gonna secure a, another turtle. turtle here. So that's, uh, again, this is all steps to continuing on that momentum, continuing on that game plan to end it early. But like you mentioned, Dave, they didn't have to dive into that tier one, right? They didn't yeah. have to take that risk, but it, it looked like Team First Blood wanted to just give the go on that. And unfortunately, it didn't <laughs> work out for them. But too many mistakes like that is going to be troublesome for them as the game goes on. Yeah, absolutely. Remember the, the, the meatball topic that we had, right? I mean, this 
this me shield is not gonna get any, get thinner. Right? It's gonna get bigger and bigger. Speaking of me shield, here we go, Fallen, taking a beating here in the middle. Yep. Another air strike there to save him. Uh, Fallen, again, this is the power of having, you know, that back to that topics of uh, having tanky junglers. That's the upside, right? You can kind of withstand that beating coming out from Team First Blood that has quite a bit of damage. So if you can continue to get that focus, stay alive if you're falling here, that's the best case scenario Ooh. for them. But already, here comes a circling eagle, forcing the flicker out from Nate. Look at the damage coming the out first. from Skid. The one-two punch. And now with the top side, they're going to be squished in here into the turret. Four members of Team First Blood. They unfortunately don't have any minions, so they call it off. Wow, you gotta give them credit. With Joy Botch initiation right now, they, they are actually playing really, really decisive. You know, whether it's successful or not, the team executed on that. We talk about just now maybe diving under the bottom tier one may not be successful, may not be something that, you know, turned out favor to them, but every engage that they have done is follow through from the beginning to end, right? Like the entire team had a plan and they executed on it. And that's something that's really beautiful to watch. Speaking of a game plan or executing a fight, here we go, Promise taking a beating here in the middle. Yeah, luckily, Promise. So this is what we're talking about, though, right? Promise going to have multiple health bars, uh, and it will scale really well. Again, as the game goes on, that's going to be a problem for Team First Blood because, you know, at that point, yep. who do you focus on, right? You got Fallen that's quite tanky. Damien, Promise eventually will be quite tanky. But the best thing that's happening right now for Team First Blood, uh, aside from Gina going down here uh, off map, is they are going to be grabbing another turtle, right? So they're able to grab that. They do give up... Cross map play though, the turret is taken out. That's gonna be the first one for the Simpsons. So they're trading objectives here. The thing is, do they wanna continue doing that? They should grab this mid turret shortly uh, if they wanna go ahead and take that, but it looks like they're not as they make their way here on the top side. Yeah, I'm really interested in item development right now. To see if Gina has gotten those items. Let's see, you have Windtalker, you have Berserker Free, already two cry items being finished on this uh, skill in Behemoth. On 1-1, one, one, she's not falling behind. She has two cry items as well, even though she's 700 gold behind, but those gold differences are not gonna make a difference in the long haul. It's mainly like, how many full items do you have are really gonna determine, are you gonna make a difference? Are you gonna be a five facilitator or a decider? Uh, are you gonna shred the health bar or just like chip away the health bar? Speaking of shredding the health bar, bottom lane, Easy takedown from the entire side of TFB, and they're gonna take the tower to trade the objective as well, as I mentioned. So they are doing really well despite the first scam disadvantage. They're not pulling any punches here, Naisu. Literally not pulling any punches, right? Kid <laughs> now gonna force the flicker out. Turret should be taken here. It's just hits away. There you go. They grabbed that one, so they got the turret advantage now, too. Team First Blood, again, doing a great job here at playing around the momentum that they have. It is only a I mean, it's a small gold lead that they have, right? The Simpsons yeah. obviously aren't out of, you know, aren't out of the game just yet. Uh, what they need to do, though, the Simpsons specifically, they need to find a pick. Now, again, who is who are you going to pick off here, right? Uh, Kid is kind of troublesome. Ayano is going to be hard to catch because of black shoes. So right. you have to be able to find the setup. And the only one to do that right now is going to be Damien with a proper wild charge. And unless something amazing happens with, you know, uh, uh, having a Barrett's jungle. But you know how hard it is to set up a Daytona's welcome on a Barrett's jungle? Yeah. Uh, it's very difficult, right? So you can see them looking for moments cool. here, even with the Thunderclap. Gina's still going to be fine. Joy Bodge now in the bottom side. Ayano, Ayano making his way down too. There's a circling. You'll promise taking quite a bit of damage from that heavy crossbow. Now it's fallen. Daytona's welcome. Daytona's welcome. Can't get it off though. The black shoes come out. They grab the kill on Fallen. Wow, wow. A little bit too over aggressive there from Team Simpson. They, I mean, the Thunder Cap did damage. It was pretty good. But here, before we talk about the top side, it seems like we might have another fight here. And Damien with a wild charge. Joy Bot, can they get the kill? Cold World trying to get the crossbow tang off. He does. Able to finally take it down. Joy Bot. That's crucial there. That was with the wild charge, like we were talking about. Kids still going here with the Lord. Do they want to continue? Can they, they actually keep this from happening? Promise, though. Kid falls. They don't have a jungler. But Luffy, it's Nate that actually secures the Lord here. Not even oh. fallen. But look at Gina looking for another kill, looking to punish. Cold World's going to be in a bad spot here. Ayano trying to do his best. Flickers out. Cold World, how is he still alive? My goodness.
Oh my god. I think over there, Gina really thought she had a sufficient damage to take a 1-1 one, one down with all attack. You saw her, she was already going for the second target. She was going for the far set, and he left the 1-1 one, one alone. That tiny window of opportunity was able to let Gina uh, Cobra not only run away, but almost taking down another kill. So very, very beautifully done there, it, making the best out of your hand. Now, meanwhile, the Lord does get taken down by Team Simpson, so they're making a comeback here. Oh, oh man, Luffy getting punished. There's the crossbow pain. They get the black shoes out. There's gonna be the wild charger. Oh, turret. Tier one, they're fighting for it. Promise looking for a kill. Knows he doesn't have the black shoes, but Ayano gonna be able to survive that one. Quite the engage coming out from the Simpsons, just punishing. Meanwhile, Gina's gonna go ahead and work on this regular Lord on the top side, but that should yep. convert into this mid turret for the Simpsons. Yeah, I mean, how little mistakes can really give your enemy team a long way, right? This is exactly what oh, TFB is stretching. Uh, sorry, Team Simpson is stretching their advantages with a little mistake that TFB made. I mean, with that Lord, you saw how low Kid was when he first started it, right? He could have just taken a breather, get a little bit of health back, clear a little bit of small camby in the jungle, you know, just try to get some health back before we we'll go back to the Lord. And his low health bar really put them in the, in the back feet there uh, for the fight to begin, because then the entire set of Simpsons, oh, this jungle's low, let's go, just dive him up. And that's exactly what happened. You know, so like going forward, can Team, Sim uh, Team First Blood actually keep up this aggression? At this point, the meatball effects are already in play. I mean, I see those tank, I see those items coming in. Yeah, and they're going to be making a play here on Damien, trying to do the best, but the backup is there. Demonic Force oh. going to be committed here, and here comes Fallen with the Daytona's welcome, looking to set this one up. You also have Nate making his way to the mid lane, looking to set up a better airstrike. It's only a matter of time. Demonic Force does come out. Nice stun there. They do manage to disengage. Nate didn't have the feathered airstrike available, but... Uh, able to keep the team Masha. alive, but look at the top side. Promise making his way, looking oh. to find with that, with the thunder clap. Able to find Kid. That's gonna be a kill. There's the feathered airstrike, pushing them further back here. Team First Blood now losing space on the map. Going to be also losing their blue buff. Yeah, the entire gold deficit is now be even up. You know, I'm interested to see the items now. To be honest, like the thief. Oh, here we go. Wall charge up before the oh. item. Damon with a wild charge, but didn't have the follow-up available. Everybody else was on the yeah. back side. Now it's Gina pushing. Cold World going to be in trouble. Still going to be alive, but finally getting taken down. Here comes the circling eagle. Nate going to be in trouble. Feathered airstrike. Not going to be enough here. Gina taking quite a bit of damage. Does not want to get hit again by that Lord. Been able to grab two kills so far. Lord's going to be up here. Promise, Promise. is hunting <laughs> for Gina. Oh. Looking for the thunderclap. <laughs> There's the wind chant, though. Now it's Promise that made the mistake. Smell blood. Unfortunately, could not get the kill. Overextends. And now the Lord up for the taking here for Team First Blood. Do they want to go ahead and push Fallen and Damien back? Certainly, you're going to be committed. Fallen. Everybody going towards Fallen. Even if he eats somebody up, it's not going to be enough. Killing spree for Gina. And that's going to be a Lord going in the hands of Team First Blood. Oh my god. It's like a shark smelling blood. By the way, that's a myth. You know, I, I was watching a video, YouTube video <laughs> how like how far shark can smell blood, but that was literally shark smelling blood, right? The promise going from the other side of the map, chasing into all the way close to your base just to get the IRL there. But beautiful, beautiful timing on the wind chant, as you pointed out, to save his life, keep him, keep turn the whole fight around. To be honest, if IRL died there. To be honest, it could have been the whole fight going to Team Simpsons' pocket. They can then move on to the Lord and maybe just walk away with the game. But now the whole table has been completely shifted around again, 180 degrees. Yeah, I mean, it's it's those small decisions that you talked about, Dave. So already, uh, a tier two turn in the top side is going to be taken. They've got to deal with this Lord here in the bottom lane, but you're just going to see turret after turret converted here. Meanwhile, Promise quite low do they grab the kill it's gina that does grab it the lord finally goes down here but promises out of the picture and team first blood looking to assault the base crack it open of the simpsons look at iona getting the black shoes out able to provide a distraction there's gonna be the wild charge still oh. holding on to the turret but look at the demonic force in the back side oh, looking for cole oh. into the fountain he goes and he's able to grab the kill and a worthy sacrifice from luffy here now looking to end it Team First Blood, able oh. to get the two out of the 
three turrets. They're going to be working on the crystal here, and that's going to be as they even it out one to one. Team First Blood taking game two. Oh my goodness. The snowball we talked about, right? You put, correct pointed out, they cracked the meatball. That actually just turned around everybody's expectations. You know, a lot of people offer a draft with finish.